Hello everyone. Today we are having a summery, airy, and super fun doodle with summer essentials,、um, which are basically fruits and、uh, ice cream. Some might people say that it's also pizza, but I think pizza is a all year round thing. So <laughs> I decided just to stick with my fruits, berries. Um, and ice cream. So in this video, you are going to learn how to doodle、um, fun、uh, fruits and ice cream,、um, as well as how to use watercolors and layers to create the shades and the depth,、uh, so then your、um, artwork doesn't look flat.、Um, and、uh, if you like my videos,、uh, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. So for now, I'm just doodling、um, my. Ice cream and my、uh, fruits,、um, and、uh, you don't have to follow exactly like the layout that I am creating. It's just totally up to you. You can even come up with your own fruits.、Um, I decided I got inspired by summer、um, and、uh, what summer brings us in terms of、um, different fruits and vegetables, and I chose、um, uh, watermelon,、uh, strawberries, berries, blueberries. I mean, strawberries, cherries, <laughs> and blueberries.、Um, And also apples、um, as my models.、Um, I drew everything from my head, so I didn't have any references.、Um, and oh, I forgot about the raspberry. Yes, <laughs> the raspberry. There was only one.、Um, I will draw a little bit later.、Um, I'm a fan of、uh, healthy eating, and I'm a, a fan of、uh, berries. So、um, I had lots of fun when I was、uh, creating this doodle,、um, and especially when I was using colors and、uh, coloring everything. So、um, here, here is the raspberry. <laughs> so here I finished、uh, my doodling with the pencil, and right now I'm going to use the artist pen.、Um, it's a Faber Faber Castell、uh, 0.3,、um, and I'm just gonna quickly. Uh, highlight everything so they pop already on the paper, even without adding colors. You don't have to do this. And、uh, the most important thing to keep in mind: if you are using artist pen, make sure you test it before you apply watercolors. So before you create any uh, work, uh, you just try to draw something on the paper and use some watercolors and make sure it doesn't lick.、Um, and I'm also using、uh, this eraser. Just to get rid of some pencil that is not essential. Now here comes the coloring, the fun part. I'm using blue,、uh, cerulean blue,、um, for my blueberries, and I'm adding a little bit of、um, ultramarine deep and permanent blue violet to create some depth and some shade,、um, as well as、uh, to build the form.、Um, what's fun about watercolors is that you create this. Forms by using many layers and many different colors, and、um, my approach to painting is I like to use very very light、um, and diluted paints, so that way I do not ruin my paintings and I、uh, can add more and more and more. I mean, that's kind of a maybe a bad thing. <laughs> Some people prefer just you know to paint real quick and then they'll be done,、uh, but I prefer to use many layers and that kind of extends my. Painting process, I guess, but it doesn't bother me because I'm enjoying what I'm doing and I'm meditating、uh, when I'm painting. So now we're coloring strawberries, and I'm using a permanent red light、um, and a little bit of carmine、uh, just to add some shades,、uh, but mostly it's just the permanent red light.、Um, and you see, I added、um, one strawberry came out a little bit later, and then another one. Um, is a little bit deeper. It's just for fun.、Uh, so no fruits doesn't have to be exactly the same. Otherwise, it'll be too boring.、Um, for my watermelon slices, I'm using carmine and some rose color,、um, and it was mostly diluted、um, uh, paint. So then I added a,、uh, a little bit more color to、um, create the shape, so to say. Here comes the ice cream. I barely used any colors. I just added a little bit of、um, uh, some shades on the bottom, and I used water uh, to uh, make it、uh, a circle.、Uh, so that way, you have some light and some shades under the ice cream,、uh, and that helps to make them pop.、Uh, for the cherries, I'm also using carmine,、uh, permanent red light, and some rose color、um, to create. Um, that nice coloring balance,、uh, 
and um, yeah so it, you don't have to use exactly the same colors as I am using um, it just when I came up with this idea I decided to, I was just listening to my guts <laughs> and I was painting um, as I wanted uh, you can use your own um, colors that you prefer uh, you don't have to make a, a like a vanilla ice cream or like a chocolate it's my chocolatey ice cream and some blue ice cream um see here i'm adding some shades so the the base of the ice cream was very light and i added a little bit of blue uh, to also add a little bit of um, depth into the ice cream and to make it look like a 3d i'm painting the peach um barely using any color um it's it was uh transparent yellow medium um, and some orange uh, and uh, for my leaves I used green yellow uh, sap green and green deep um, and just to create the volume again and to create that 3d look um, that's the reason why I used uh, these three colors and just you know uh, to make it look more fun um, you can paint it with one color you can just apply a super transparent layer of um, for example green deep color and then you can keep adding more saturated color to it and then it will also create some volume uh, but when I paint it I like to add as many colors as I can so then it looks more fun um, and uh, it doesn't have to look like super natural um, some people just try to do uh, to paint um, and have the outcomes like similar to true to life uh, things but you know it depends on your preferences um, if you want more like a cartoon uh, look you can play with colors and you can uh, choose something different to create that un unrealistic uh, look unrealistic uh, shape it doesn't really matter um, I think art is uh, something very personal uh, and uh, each of us have our own style and how we uh, paint it also very different um, so yeah um, here I'm almost finished um, adding some shades and adding some colors uh, to my um, berries and my ice cream uh, here it comes the raspberry. Yeah, again, the first layer is super transparent and then you can add more uh, rose color and uh, build up the form, build up the depth. Um, and what I love about watercolors is then you can add more and more and more. But the golden rule is here is, is you know, you need to know when to stop because um, with watercolors you can keep adding, adding, adding more saturated colors uh, but eventually you might ruin the whole thing because um, watercolor should look transparent rather than if you compare them to acrylics or to oil so here you, you got to be very careful and of course here we're adding a little bit of uh, background um, I just used um, very very diluted rose um, just going around my fruits and my ice cream um, you don't have to do this. I think uh, the painting looks already cool uh, with the white background. Um, but as I said, I love colors and I thought it would be nicer to add something else and to make it pop even more. Um, later, I'm going to add uh, some shades under the fruits. And here is a fun thing about watercolors. Uh, like if you're a slow painter and um, if you want to have that watery um, shades uh, you need to make sure that your paper is wet um, and if for some reason you were painting the background and the, the paper dried out the water absorbed all the water what you can simply do you can just wet your, your brush and um, uh, paint a little bit a little bit with water under each fruit and just drop a little bit of color to it and it will just kind of drip um, and create a nice transition um, and nice uh, shade uh, which will look very very artistic and uh, very very professional um, as here as you can see <laughs> I keep adding shades um, it's just you know that thing about stopping um, that is very very tricky because I, I love adding layers uh, so yeah so basically that's it and um, if you enjoyed the video uh, please like press that big like button and subscribe to my channel um, come back for more tutorials uh, that are gonna come this week 
and uh, I hope you had fun watching me doodling and adding colors um, and shapes and everything. Well, thank you for watching.